Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the relative path. Um, I suppose I'll just crack on and show you how it works. Basically, if I take a bit, take in a table file while this is ticked, it will not show the path of the file. And basically, wherever you save the click view document, it will expect that folder to be the default folder for the data. So, for example, if I choose a table file called tables, just click finish. You can see it's just calling tables.xlsx. If I click on reload, I'll save it as t.qvw. Place that file. We get an error message because it's expecting to see the data table or the data in the same folder where I'm trying to save the QVW because I have the relative path uh, ticked. So if I click OK and um, click OK again, press Control and need to go into the script. I'm going to untick relative paths. Notice it's just saying tables.xlsx. If we copy all of the um, the script, sorry, if we highlight and delete, and go into it, now relative paths is unticked. Click on table files, tables, click finish. Now you can see the full path of where the file is. Click control and R or click on reload. And you can see it reloads the data. So that's how to get around and um, not seeing the full file path as to where the data file is stored. This was causing me some problems because every time I reloaded a new file um, I had to wait for the error message and then copy and then cut out the, uh, the folder name where I was trying to save the QVW so it just got messy so just make sure this is unticked um, and you should be fine. Okay, that's it. I'll see you next video. Cheers.